Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a review for you of Saxon Algebra Half, Algebra 1, and Algebra 2. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christina. I'm a homeschooling and homesteading mom to five in the Canadian Maritimes. If you missed my previous videos, I have two videos reviewing Saxon Math Program. The first is looking at the K through 3, or grade 3, level 3 program. And then the second video is the 5, 4 through the 8, 7. I'll link those up top for you, but also in the description below if you'd like to see those. So I've had a few children use these upper levels. I've had two children use the half, one child complete the one, uh, one child is halfway through the one, and one child complete the two. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and give you a look at how they are set up because it is different than the lower levels. And then I'll come back here and share my thoughts on it. So I will go through each level and give you a look. They're pretty much the same. There's just a few little differences. So if you buy the homeschool kit, this is what you get. You get the textbook, which is I think about 485 pages. It is hardcover. You get the test forms and you get this answer book. So I'm gonna go through each part and just give you a little more information. So it starts off here by giving you the table of contents. There are 123 lessons in here. That's a little different than the younger levels. There's extra topics, then there's the glossary index and answers to odd numbered problems. So let's jump to a lesson here. Let's say lesson nine. So here's the first part. They give you examples, they explain it, they give you the solutions to the examples. So this is all part of one lesson. And then there's the practice section, which in which you're practicing what you just learned. And then there is the problem set, which is 30 questions. And this is a review of everything you have previously learned. So each one is set up the same. You can see here the information, the examples, there's the practice for that day. And here are the problem sets. At the back here, there was those extra topics. Here's an example of that. And then there is the glossary, the index, and then at the very back are the answers to the odd numbered questions. And notice these are just the answers. These are not the explanations on how to answer them. And then here they have the geometric formulas, abbreviations, and unit conversions for students. So your student or your child is going to be using like a notebook to do these questions, and they'll be reading this textbook. Then the next part that comes with it is this book here, which you can tell ours has been well used. This is a soft cover. Let's see if there's a page number on this one. 85, so less than 90 pages. And what this is, is in the beginning are the answers to the tests. And they actually have it um, like worked out. It tells you how to answer those questions. And then in the back here, they have the answers to those daily problem sets and the practice. These are just the answers. It doesn't explain how to answer the question. And so that's where this other book comes in that you can buy. So for this one, this is the solutions manual. This one actually gives you the details for each. So like if I come in here, let's find problem or set 43. Here's the answers, but here's the explanation on how to actually use them. And so I found it worthwhile to buy these for each level, that it really just does help if you're having trouble explaining or understanding how to do these. And so all of the answers explained are in this book. And then the other part was this one, the test forms. So it's a very thin, basic one. I just have my children um, look at the test and just write down on a separate piece of paper. That way multiple children can use the tests. This is the testing schedule. So it's a little bit different than the lower level for this one. You're gonna be doing tests. So the first one is after lesson eight, and then it's every four lessons, which is quite different. And it tests based on up to four lessons previous. It's pretty interesting. So there's 31 tests altogether for 123 lessons. These are what the tests look like. 
and that's what that level looks like. So then moving on, so I have Saxon Algebra 1 here, very similar. There's the textbook. It's a little bit thicker. Let's see. How many pages is this one? 565. It does have abbreviations, unit equivalencies, as well as geometric, geometric formulas in the back. It's set up the same way, the index, the answers to the odd number questions, the glossary, and then the lessons are set up very similarly. So let's see, here's lesson 65. So they're gonna be reading, looking at the examples, giving it a try, seeing the solution, making sure they understand it. They have the practice for the day and then they have the problem set with 30 questions in it. Now if I remember correctly, how many lessons does this one have? I wanna say 129. Nope, this one only has 120. So this one has less than the algebra half in it. But again, there's the table of contents saying what they're gonna cover. And it, it's very much similar to the other level. Again, there are the test forms. The testing schedule is the same. You're gonna be starting after lesson eight and giving them every four lessons, 30 tests in this one. These are what the tests look like. This is the same book in that it has the test answers explained here. And it has just the simple answers for the problem sets here. So again, I felt it was worthwhile to invest in the solutions manual where I'm gonna be able to see the explanation of each question and break it down. Now I have to say, Algebra 1 is where I started to top out on my math knowledge. Um, towards the end of this course, it was getting kind of into areas I didn't remember too well and were a little difficult, so this was so helpful to have. So now I'm gonna give you a look at Algebra 2. So this one is just a little bit different. There is the answer key. It is more of a papery cover. And again, it's just those very simple answers. It's not explaining anything. And this one does not include the test answers in this part here. So it has a separate book for both the tests and the testing answers. So the tests are in the back here. And the answers are here. So that's set up just a little bit differently, but the format is kind of the same in that it's explaining the answers in here, but um, the tests are in here as well. This is the child's textbook they're gonna be using. And when we look here at the table of contents, there are 129 lessons. There are no extra topics. And then there's the glossary index and the answers. So if you see the answers here, again, it is just the odd questions that have the answers in the back. And everything else is the same. This is how they're gonna be doing the lessons. Exact same way. This is one day of lessons. There's the practice. There's the problem set. Now I did notice with this one, when we got to the very end, there were fewer problems. Let's see, this is 127. There are only 20 in these ones. So it does go down a bit towards the end. Each answer, of course, is a little more involved and a little bit more um, complicated. This one is 25, but overall they're a little bit shorter at the end there. And likewise, just with the other levels, I invested in the solutions manual and it is an investment, it is quite pricey, to really give the full answers and every step-by-step -step in there. So now I'm gonna share some thoughts with you after I've had multiple children use these books. So a few things I wanted to share about this. We have used Saxon Math for our children from grade one all the way through. My oldest just finished the Algebra 2 at the end of grade 10. It works really well for our family. I'm able to adjust it for each child and 
it's just worked really well and so that's the only math program we have used with our children now that said we're going to be changing things up a little bit because math is not my strong suit i am going to have my children only do up to the saxon half and then we're going to switch to a different math program and give that a try something that has automatic grading and instant feedback online and I'm doing that primarily because I really struggle to help my children with math at this point. We have a wonderful friend who has been so helpful in helping me this year and done some tutoring with my son, but it's been a huge challenge. Now there's been some question about do you do Saxon 8-7 or do you do algebra half or do you use both of them? We decided with our first child to just use both of them. I feel like it gives a really strong foundation and even if a lot of it is review, it's just giving that foundation as helping them later on with their math. And so we do both. Um, as far as not doing any geometry in algebra one or two, I'm hoping the course we're gonna try is going to fix that because I do think that's a bit of an issue. Originally, I planned to have my children use Saxon all the way through there is what is their pre-calculus and advanced math, I think, are the last two. But like I said, we're gonna try something different. Cost-wise, it is an investment. If you have multiple children, though, you're not having to buy every year. Once you get to this level, you don't need to buy every year anything, as long as they're not writing on the test. So in that way, it's very cost-effective for multiple children or larger families. I would definitely recommend this math program. I feel like it is a strong math program and a strong curriculum in preparation for advanced math or university math with the exception of that like geometry I talked a bit about. So it's worked well for us. We're gonna try something a little different, but we're still gonna keep using the half for sure um, and see how it goes. We might come back to this, we might not. Hopefully this has given you a good overview of the setup though and how each level is pretty much the same in this area, a little slightly different. If you have any questions, leave them in that comment section down below. I'm always happy to answer them. Otherwise, I hope this has been informative and that it finds you having a great day. Take care.